Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the N172. In this part of the module, we're going to see how we can link the variables from the PLC into the VGO Designer in a faster way. So, what we need to do is to first know the variables that we want to share from the PLC to the HMI, and then use an Excel file to copy the variables from the PLC into this Excel, and then in there we need to configure some details and then export that file to be imported into the PGO Designer. So, if we go back to the presentation, there is an exercise that we need to do. Okay, we're gonna share the variables from the status. Let me just minimize this. There we go. What we're gonna do now is to make an example how it is, how easy is it. So, what we're gonna do is to copy the variables from the status paste it into this Excel file, and then export this file into the PGO Designer. We already have this configuration, so we don't need to take care of this now. So we need to open this Excel file that is already being shared. So first, clean the table. There are here the steps, and then additional configuration. All we need to do is to open our software for the PLC. Select what we want to share. We have EPRON and status. In this particular case, I'm going to focus only on the status. We need to select them and then copy them and select the Excel again. We want to use the status. In this case, I'm going to delete the values that we have. They are just for demo. Paste the new variables. You can see here we have the address, which is important here. We, if we don't have the address, there is nothing that we are able to share with the HMI. And then the variable. Then what we need to do is to press move variables. And the variables are moved here in the original sheet that we already have clean. And in this part, what we need to do is to configure the folder and the scan group. The folder, basically, if we go to PGO Designer, it will create a folder in here. Instead of using this folder and name it, it will create a new folder. And for the Modbus scan group, which is this, we need to match one of these that we have already defined. In this case, I'm going to use the Ethernet to make the connection. So I'm going to use n 172 underscore ETH. If we go back to the Excel, we can see this. n 172 underscore ETH. And I'm going to use the folder uh, status underscore ETH. Just to know that they are from the status and it comes from the Ethernet. Once we have already configured this, what we need to know is that we must click on this button, okay? Create CSV file. Here you can see how is the structure of the file that we need to use in the PGO Designer. So I'm gonna save it in here. I have already one of one example here, but I'm going to create another one to HMI status. Okay, this is a new file. Okay, I'm going to close it. And now, what we need to do in Bicheo Designer is to go to the variables, right click, import variables, and then we need to select the file. The file that is generated from the Excel is a CSV. And then we need to select if it's comma or semicolon. If we are not sure how the Excel file generates the, the CSV, what we need to do is to go to the CSV file, right click, and then if we I believe if we use, for example, Notepad, 
we can see it's another screen how is the limitation in my case is comma but you can check that by your own in your laptop just see if it did yes if I put a did you can see here this how is the configuration okay that is something important here is that not all the variables inside the controller of the M172 can be used in this Excel and for example if you are using a unsigned single int it would probably give you an error on which other signer but it is easy to identify where the error is because you will receive um, an error on which other signer about that the file has an error for him um, in a specific line and a specific column so this information here can help you to identify where is something wrong in there and most of the cases is about the variable that are not the ones that we can use and that is defined in the excel sheet in here just in case so we go back to the bg designer select the file the comma and we have the possibility to overwrite just in case we recalculate the addresses on the return in the in the PLC side so we need to open this and we will receive a message in the feedback zone in this feedback zone we want to see if there is an error or something else in this case I have already imported successfully six variables and they are here okay so the same process can be done for the EEPROM so let's do this so basically we need to go here let's clean this table select EEPROM oh, let's delete all this then I go back to the PLC EEPROM select everything probably this one not okay this one and this one copy this is very simple so go back here paste okay more variables instead of a status I want to use EEPROM Ethernet the same scan group that we already have by Ethernet and then create CSV file the same structure and I'm going to use M172 to HMI EEPROM save close this one open the geo designer variables import variables select the HMI EEPROM comma and there we go eight variables already imported okay so it's very simple this way at least for me it's very simple if I have too many variables so now we have already imported a new variables so how we can change the one that we already been using very simple we can make double click here the lamp go to the variables that we want okay in this case is the temperature okay there we go okay another way is going here in the property specter and select the new variable so the change is very simple and to show you that it's working what we can do is to let me just change the change the view of the, the camera you can see I'm connected over Ethernet and let me just connect to the PLC that I have communication and everything is alright okay so <laughs> I read something let me just touch the proof okay here okay it's increasing okay good so let's go now to the picture designer 
let's simulate this just to validate that we still have communication even if we change the way that we address the variable so as you can see here this is the value the new value if i go to the software you can see here the new variable that is the same as i have here this is the output if i now remove the connection you can see there that you have to change okay and when i put in this way okay good and if i put back we come back to normal okay and what happened if i if i remove the ethernet cable let me just remove this go back to the simulator and remove the ethernet cable from the top okay we should probably lose communication to the device a few seconds <laughs> that's a timeout there we go there is no communication then if i put it back should come back to life there we go there we go it's going back to life so this part is just to show you how we can easily import and export the variables from the EcoStructure Machine Expert HVC into the VGO Designer in an easy and fast way. And let me just check if I don't forget about something. This is all the explanation. Du -du -du. I already explained that. And this is the part of the practice for you. And then you can simulate the same using the EE burn in your side. So if you have any other question or something regarding how to share the variables between the two devices, just give us a call or send us an email to this email address.